Well, to wrap for this year's legislative session, Kansas lawmakers came back to override several of the governor's vetoes today, still leaving some t items on the table. Tonight, Fox 43 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung explains where things stand. Well, here in the Senate, they made the final move on overriding several vetoes from the governor, mainly dealing with public health and election laws. But with such a quick wrap up session, Democrats say there's a lot left to be done. Lawmakers in the Senate and House have wrapped up this year's session with veto overrides. One bill that's back to life prevents the state from closing down churches during public health emergencies. It also stops Medicare contracts from being negotiated until 2023, which is when a new term for governor starts. This coming as the state's Democratic governor is up for re-election. The argument being that the possible changes to Medicaid should not be made at the very end of a governor's term. 2387 unnecessarily opens the contract process in our state to partisan politics for a major gubernatorial election. Lawmakers fell short on some measures. The governor's veto was sustained for a bill that would prevent the state from enforcing restrictions like masking during public health emergencies for any disease. This was cast down as a one-size-fits-all approach by opponents. However, another bill that did pass prevents the state from entering agreements with any court regarding election laws unless lawmakers give their stamp of approval. Still, some Dems say that Republicans are leaving a lot left to be done, trying to get a head start during an election Year. A push from Dems to move up the start date on eliminating the state's food sales tax was squashed. Also, medical marijuana efforts were stalled in committee, the House and Senate failing to pass out a final plan. We can tell that this is not for results. It's to poke. This is a procedural vote, not a vote for tax relief for Kansans families. I vote no. Now, the final session did wrap up quickly as lawmakers prepare for the upcoming election season and also with filing deadlines right around the corner that coming up next week. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.